All right, so this is Bruno Souza here from Code for Life, and I'm rec recording directly from St. Augustine, and this is a pretty cool place. It's a small town. Uh, it seems to be the oldest town in the U.S. Um, it's a, a you know pretty nice place. It's right by the sea. Lots of pirate things and lots of lots of Spanish names. Um, you know, there seems to be the, the the U.S. eventually lost it for Spain and then it recovered back. You know, there's all kind of stories uh, going around here. And um, the cool th the thing I've been thinking about in here is since there's so many boats and ships around here, I've been thinking about the story. Uh, that I read in this amazing book uh, called Triggers. So Triggers is a book that talks about how the environment triggers things uh, on you. So you take actions based on triggers on the environment. It's an amazing book if you want to change your habits, if you want to think about better uh, the things you're going to do in life. I do recommend that you read Triggers. But there's, they had this story uh, about, you know, you, you have this Chinese person. Well, the story goes like this, right? So there's a Chinese uh, guy going up the river and you know he, his little boat you know, is rowing uh, on his little boat and he sees a bigger boat coming in his direction right so you know he's like oh man you know I'm here don't hit me and he starts yelling at the boat and and he's he's yelling at it and saying no I'm here don't hit me and, and you know get out of the way you're too big you're gonna you're gonna get me and it's, you know the, the bigger boat keeps coming right and you know the guy's like crazy you know oh no stop it stop it I'm right here and you know the bigger boat keeps coming and keeps coming and then uh, it gets to this point where you know oh, the bigger boats are almost in here it's like no oh, get out of here and he's yelling and complaining about the guy and then boom, the bigger boat just hit him right uh, in the center of his boat and and turn his boat around so the guy climbs into the bigger boat yelling oh you know you you don't know how to drive what are you doing here you're crazy you almost killed me and and he gets there and and the boat is empty there's no one in the bigger boat right and 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 so he was yelling to an empty boat i mean if he had thought that the boat was empty he would not have yelled it. he would not have make tried to make signs right he would get out of the way because he would know that the boat was empty so this is the thing for your career right all the boats are empty it's always an empty boat so there's no point in you complaining or you yelling at, at people you're trying to to get people to do what you want them to do uh there's no point in doing none of that it's always an empty boat so what do you yes always say hello yeah you see friendly people here right so it's always an empty boat right so instead of you yelling complain about things complain about your life complain about how people don't do uh, the things that you want them to do instead of you complain about how bad your job is or or anything right remember it's always an empty boat either you do something about it or it's gonna hit you really bad and it's not because it's 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 someone wants to get you it's not because someone is against you it's just because you're not doing your part you're not doing your you're not taking responsibility so the thing is do not keep yelling at an empty boat do something about it get out of the way change your way you know do something and that's is taking responsibility so so this is uh, taking responsibility is one of the most important things that you can do in your career and once you take responsibility for it um, you're really going to be able to steer your boat in whatever direction you want to take it you do not need to be worried about other boats coming in and catching you because you know it is your responsibility the other boat is empty so you can do things even if, even even when your situation you think you cannot do things you always can do something so what you gotta do is think about it what is it you can do to change the situation what is it you can do to think about it and remember the other boat is ours empty so do not yell at it do something about it all right so we are this is uh we are here talking uh at the the java tour around the united states uh we just we just get out of, of jacksonville we are on our way to Orlando, and I'll keep you posted everything we're doing. Thanks a lot.